Hi, my dear. How are you? How are you doing? I'm here for Giuseppe. He's at the back to the front desk, please. Junior is here from Brazil to see you. My man! Junior! The fuck you up, man? Hey, what's up? Good to see you, brother. For Brazil, for everybody watching Viva this. Brazil. This is the man, the best fucking hairdresser in the world. That's Thank the God. guy. I thought you were going to say fucking the barber. World. Of course not. <laughs> Welcome, you gotta thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you for hosting us. You gotta show us this beautiful salon. Man. Hell yeah. Let me show you the beginning. Mickey Rourke. Loan me the money. Wow. 38 years ago to open up my business. Right. We're best friends for 39 years. Wow. And this is my first salon. 39 years, uh, 38 years ago. From here, I went to here. You expended. Yeah, right. but it took how long? Seven, eight years. So I had a little spot, and you see this door? There you that go. was a little boutique. Right. So seven years later, I went here to here, like back and forth, and I was so excited. Right. Uh. Oh God, I expanded. Wow. Seven, eight years though it took. Right. Then I went all the way to the front. This is huge. No, but that took 13 years later. So I had the little spots. So I got one, two, three. Number let's go, four. Let's go, let's go. Wait, what? Maybe Wait. 12 years later, I went that way. Wow. So we got one, two, three, four. Mm, 23 years old though at that time. Mm. Not me, the salon. The I started salon. at 25. Mm -hmm. Then, 12, 11 months ago, <laughs> numero cinco. Numero cinco. With God's help. This is 11 months old. I couldn't even see now, that from there. mind you, all these chairs mm -hmm. are full. Mm -hmm. Meaning, uh, uh, hairdressers right. and clients are here. Right. But you see, California works different. So sometimes mm -hmm. they can come in when they want, leave mm -hmm. when they want. Uh, okay to each his own. Everything by appointment, right? No. No? Never. Never. I don't put signs by appointment only. Mm -hmm. Because of God, number one, and mm -hmm. a lot of help, mm -hmm. I'm well known. Right. So we have a lot of tourists every day. All right. uh, four or five tourists per day uh -huh. from hotels. And I ask them, how did you hear about us? Mm -hmm. Sometimes they say, what do you call social media? Right, social media. Which I don't nowadays. know how to do. Yeah. My oh, daughter you're on Instagram does. Instagram right now, yeah. But the hotel send them here. Uh huh. So they go to the hotel. Where should I get my hair done? Uh -huh. They always say Giuseppe Frank. Right. And always in the same location, like you always stay 38 here. 38 years, same location, same phone number, same address, same. This is amazing. I'm very Italian, very old school. Thing? All these chairs have asses in them. Right. Then I know I'm doing well. This is beautiful, man. That's the only thing I'm concerned about. This is amazing. It's amazing. Uh, work. Who the president is, or the taxes, I don't get concerned about. They're never going to lower my taxes, right. so they raise them, I pay them. My main concern, I remember 19, maybe 88 and 89, mm. I told my client, mm. I go, how do you like your movie? He's a producer. Right. I go, you got Robert De Niro mm. and Mickey Rock in one movie called Angel Heart. Right. You got two method actors. Mm. He goes, method, method. who gives a shit? I go, what? He goes, as long as those theater seats mm -hmm. have asses in them, mm -hmm. I make money. So right. he's the producer. Right. He doesn't care right. about how you act. It's always about the money. That was a great tip you got right away. Well, right? it's smart. Yeah. Yeah. So again, they raise my taxes mm -hmm. or the rent. As long as these chairs all have customers in it, right. I'm always happy. And they always do. And you, you stay open how many days a week? From Monday to Saturday? Six days a week. Six days a week. Sunday is uh -huh. church for me and familia, uh -huh. family. Right. No business. And um, a bunch of celebrities come in here, right? A lot. But they don't make appointments. Right. They, I don't need them. Right. You see, it's a trade-off. First, I don't charge movie stars. People right. go, you're crazy. I go, no, no, I'm not. I'll tell you why. Of course not. Because I can call them in 26 minutes mm -hmm. and say, I'm doing something, a TV show. Can you come down and... Uh -huh. Giuseppe, I'll be right there. <laughs> There's your trade-off. I assume they come a lot for awards, for everything. Well, you know, yeah, to, but that to goes the with the territory. Yeah, of course. So 
so sweet. Giuseppe, this is for a new friend from Brazil, Junior. Oh, thank you. Ay. Thank you very much. There you go. Mucho gracias, Juan. Well. Gracias, amigo. You know, if it wasn't for Egan right. setting this up, I would have never have met you. Right. I know Regan for so long, man. I think when he first moved into the country. Uh-huh. Boy, you could tell Egan from the heart. Not the, <laughs> the heart speaks yeah. more. He's very gentle. And people don't know that because he's so, yeah, like but he was that's, a master. That's what like makes you special. The, yeah. Well, any tough guy can walk out. <laughs> yeah. Egan is very gentle. Giuseppe. <laughs> Egan is the best. He's the yeah. best. But he's met all my friends. The Stallones, the Schwarzeneggs, the Mel Gibson. They all fell in love with the Egan. Uh -huh. No, all of them. Because they see what I see, the heart. Yes. Forget about the fucking toughness. Yeah. They, there's no denying that. Yeah, and he helps people without even asking for it. Yeah, but you that's see, God best. sees that's that. The best. Uh, let's tell the truth to the whole world. Of course. I met you Sunday through Egan. Yes. You that's guys are having it. Oh my oh! God, look who's here. There you go, my friend. Sam Junior. How's it going? Say good to hi here to the man is To my here. big brother. Ay, que guapo. Que oh, you gotta sit down for a minute. You gotta sit down for a minute. Tell oh. me how you guys uh, met each other. Everybody's very respected of Egan, meaning as a fighter. Of course. So we all knew this from television, mm -hmm. now, all over the world. Television, right. HBO, you see. Then I met him live, like in person. Mm. The most gentle, nicest guy, but so sincere. She, nice to meet you. Yes, That's very sweet. But he'd fucking kill you <laughs> with one punch. The so master, I, one of ahead. the masters of martial arts, and he's so sweet, caught you by surprise or no? Yes, because we all follow right. uh, fighters, and we all know who he was. Before right. he moved to mm -hmm. America, forget about Beverly Hills. Uh -huh. So I said... Mickey Rock, Sylvester Stallone, Arnold Schwarzenegger, all in one fucking week. You gotta meet this guy that we watch on TV. <laughs> and Arnold goes, oh. I go, fuck it. He goes, oh, he's tough. Sly's like, oh, yeah, you know what you fucking know, man. Mickey goes, oh, I follow him all the So they all met my man. I think Forget the first one I met through Jose mm -hmm. was his partner, uh, uh -huh. Mickey. Correct. Okay. Mick was the yeah. first one. Correct. Yeah. I remember I was, uh, was eating here at the restaurant. I went to say hi to Joseph. Mm -hmm. Stallone was there. Wow. And that's when I met Stallone. And when they said, he can come over here. I want to introduce to another friend. Mine was Arnold. Uh -huh. And uh, almost like he, he's the mayor in Beverly Hills. <laughs> he know everybody. He basically come his friend. And he, little by little, he come over here in the shop. I want you to meet somebody. I surprised. Sometimes I don't know. I come here. It's no flounder. It's like right. Yeah. It, it goes to show. I'm so interrupt that anybody in the world can make it. Yeah. No matter what you do, mm -hmm. you could be a chef. Mm -hmm. you could be a baker. See, God gives everybody a gift. Right. You just need to know what gift it is, and it's never about the fall. Right. People fall. You lost. He yeah. lost a fight. Yeah. He didn't give up, he came back. So it's about the recovery Those, in life. The, Divorce, lose your business, lose, whatever the bullshit is, you need to come back up. Right. So when they all met, Egan, they all fell in love. The sincerity, the good he's heart. Amazing. Yeah, but they all know he's a fucking killer. Yeah. Well, no, for business. That's what he does for a living. No, did. Then he opened up the schools. Everybody booked it. For all the celebrities there. Not he's, just he's celebrities. The one, man. Celebrities are important. Yeah. Very important. Uh -huh. But he takes care of wives, kids, yeah. daughters, yeah, grandkids. Yeah. That's business. But I was going to say that the, the, those I just three. Shake my hand off my brother, I have to go. Okay, but one second. Okay. Just, oh, just, just one, just one, just one. They must have felt impressed because the three people you mentioned, Mickey was a boxer. And Correct. Stallone and uh, Schwarzenegger were doing action, action movies. Heroes. So for them to meet a guy like Regan, not me, who's they like the real him. hero, no, the real hero, yeah. Like they they it's, respect it's him. Yeah. He teaches them. He goes to their houses. They teach him fucking karate moves <laughs> or his school. Whatever it is, he's available. So it doesn't matter where he's from. Yeah. It's the heart. The heart is international. So people call him. 
I can't make it to your studio. The studio. Mm -hmm. Can you come to my house? I'm, so he goes to Steven Seagal's house mm -hmm. and teaches new fucking karate moves. Right. So what? It doesn't matter for you where he's from, but for us, it's it's uh, it's a lot of pride that we take on having him from Brazil. Just a quick this hi, to my big brother. This this I love you, my brother. Junior, we catch up soon. Of course. That's thanks. The best. Thanks for By being the way, here, man. I heard his interview Mel Gibson in six days in Brazil. Mm. He's amazing. My brother. My man, Giuseppe Franco, man. Yes. Thanks, thanks a lot Junior. for hosting us here, for showing us the salon. It was amazing. It was amazing. Thank you for having me on your show. Tell me one thing. You were born in Italy? I was made in Italy. So my mother was pregnant with mm -hmm. my twin sister mm -hmm. and me wow. on the boat. So I was born on the boat. Wow. <laughs> Are you kidding From, me? Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> and my older brother and my mother and father. Going from Italy to New York. So you, you grew up in New York? How Correct. old are you when you were? 16 hours. <laughs> you asked me how old I was. I was born in New oh, York. Oh, so you were born coming to New York in the boat? Correct. Moment. This is unbelievable. That's My mother a, was very story. pregnant on, uh, on the boat. They took the boat from Italy. Uh -huh. Old school. Wow. In other words, they didn't speak any English. Uh -huh. I didn't speak any English. Uh -huh. We were raised very Italian Catholic. Wow. Which is... Yeah, I was going to ask if you spoke no. Italian because it, since fluently. you're American. It doesn't yeah. matter what nationality, mm -hmm. what sex you are, mm -hmm. gay, straight, lesbian, black, Chinese. It mm -hmm. doesn't matter. I'm like a restaurant. Junior, you like the calamari with the vino bianco. Let's get Junior a table. <laughs> It feels good, doesn't it? It feels good. But, That's how I do my business. But you know what? I lived in New York for so long, and Beverly Hills is so different, like especially Beverly Hills. LA is so different vibe from uh, That's New why York. I don't like Beverly Hills. Yeah, but when I when I met you here, the way you act, the way you talk to people, it reminds me of New York. The attitude, New Jersey, like the Italians. It could be then, yeah. Brazil, it could be Argentina. It could be, it's always from the heart. Right. It doesn't matter where you're raised, God gave you a heart. God gave you a gift. Right. Either you use the gift or you fucking don't use it. In California, it seems that people don't use the gift. They, they want to be famous. They want to be actors. They want to be something. But maybe God didn't give you that gift. Maybe he made you the best artist. Mm -hmm. Or you can make the best cookies. Mm. Whatever it is, it's always a gift. It's better if you know what age that you have the gift. So the sooner the better. Because I've seen people change careers seven times. You think there's a lot of faking and pretending here? A lot, oh, a bullshit lot. here. Oh, bullshit. Oh, bullshit. It's Hollywood. So you said you Forget don't like about it. Beverly Hills. You don't like Beverly it's Hills? It's fucking Hollywood. I love Beverly Hills for my business. Because right. if you wear the movie stars, our people are very attracted to movie stars. Right. Not necessarily they're the best people. Hmm. But if you were a movie star, Junior, and you told Brazil, hmm. I use these tissues. Mm -hmm. for my nose and face. The whole world in Brazil will go buy the tissues. Right, right. It doesn't make them better. Right. It sells me chip. So movie stores sell. I'm glad I'm in Beverly Hills. Look, I have no partners. Mickey Rock loaned me the money a long time ago. Mm -hmm. I have no investors. I'm the boss. It took me 38 years. I'm mm -hmm. very Italian Catholic. I go to church every Sunday and I work very hard. So I'm blessed. What was your idea like to open a salon back in the days? It was very difficult because I wanted to be in Beverly Hills only mm -hmm. because I seen it. Uh -huh. And I said, this is where the movie stars are. Mm -hmm. So what's better than mm -hmm. being near movie stars? Because mm. I had a dream. I was maybe 18, 19 years old. I'm 60 now. That I seen on the steps. Steps means in New Jersey. The stool, you know, your front steps to go to your house. Right. You know, you walk up, you ring the bell. Right. So the steps that I had, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Sylvester Stallone on my steps talking to me. Mm. I never met them in my life. I seen Rocky and I seen Terminator. It's the only thing I knew of them. And that was, I had a dream though, it was a stupid dream. I was living in New York with my girlfriend. That's crazy. So I believe in the dreams right. and positive. I always think positive. Mm -hmm. Negative shit don't flow up, man. Even if it's not going to work, I don't think about it. But I think about reality. Like, what would happen if it didn't work? I have to have a, another plan. But I'm always very positive. You know, uh, you look great. Mm -hmm. 
you can't tell a woman if she's 300 pounds, yeah, right. you look skinny. <laughs> no. So you tell them, oh, I love your shoes. Right. <gasps> oh, I love your bracelet. They yeah. feel good. They feel good, yeah. The whole idea is making people feel mm -hmm. good. Do you still have fresh in your mind the opening ceremony of this place? Hell yeah. How was it? How, tell me, tell me like a, some stories about that day. My 25th birthday, mm. and I had a party. I opened up 30-something, but I had a, a big party. Mm. And Mickey Rourke, who's my best friend, brought a lot of movies. See, Mickey Rourke is a very uh, important actor, mm -hmm. respected actor, method actor. Right. So all the people that wanted to be Mickey Rourke, uh -huh. men, actors, uh -huh. I want to be Mickey, they all came here. All the girls that wanted to sleep with him uh -huh. came here. Mm. So that was a big success for me. But Mickey Rourke just finished a movie called Nine and a Half Weeks. Right. So I had so many girls lined up to get haircuts, right. to sleep with him. Wow. And I had a million guys lined up mm. to be him. Everybody mm. wanted to be right. Rocky. Mm -hmm. uh, Mickey Rourke, Gordon mm -hmm. Terman. I get bodybuilders here from uh, Germany and Australia every 13 fucking hours. Wow. Yeah, what do I do? Uh, two months ago, <clears throat> I had the Brad Pitt of Spain. Oh. And this fucker is better looking than Brad Pitt. <laughs> Big entourage. Yeah. They go, can we talk to you? I go, how do you, yeah. you guys get here? They go, no. We seen you on TV in Germany. Yeah. We know you, Giuseppe Franco. We want to introduce you to the Brad Pitt of Spain. Oh. I go, well, bring him over. There he is. Mm -hmm. Fucking great looking. I go, you speaking? He goes, of course. I go, no disrespect. But nobody gives a shit about Spain. He goes, mm -hmm. what? I go, nobody gives a shit about Italy either. Mm -hmm. Or Yugoslavia, or Hungary, mm -hmm. or fucking Romania. Oh. You want to make it big? You make it big in Hollywood. Only way to do it. Then you could be more famous in Spain. Right. Yeah, but who gives a shit about... I'm from yeah. Italy. Right. Do you think the actor in Italy right now... Mm -hmm. uh, it could have been Marcello Mastriani. Yeah, oh. they want to be here. Yeah, they all come. No, come Hollywood. Here. Yeah. Only. No, this is it. Right. Forget about Beverly Hills. Uh -huh. It's fucking Hollywood. Right. You make it big in Hollywood, mm -hmm. that's it. You're set for life. Mickey was the one who referred you to a lot of artists back in the days? And Mickey was a big help in my life. A lot of people mm. were, including Arnold Schwarzenegger and right. Sylvester Stallone. We're just good friends. But it all happened by trial by error or accidentally. I didn't mm -hmm. say, God, please. Right, right. Send me Arnold Schwarzenegger. They heard about me because I'm a crazy Italian. <laughs> I never promoted myself. Uh -huh. I let people come to me, right. but I treat them like I treat the woman mm -hmm. who's divorced mm -hmm. with seven kids and right. no money. I treat her better than a movie star. But that's a blessing anyway, because they're great guys. Arnold became a big friend of yours. Correct. Uh, Stallone is a, is a very <coughs> nice guy from what, I, from what I hear about him. Yeah, but so they're it's... not my favorite clients. Uh. My favorite clients is the, the divorced mom. Right. She's got three kids, no right. money. She works three jobs. Mm -hmm. So I give her the free haircut. Mm -hmm. People go, you right. give her a free haircut? I go, yeah. Mm -hmm. They go, why? I go, because God told me to do it. That's nice. You got to help people back. Because right. what goes around will always I'll come around. around. I don't do because I have to. Right. I do because I wish I had a fresh start or a second chance in life. Mm -hmm. So I give people those chances. Mm -hmm. And I saw you saying that the real celebrities are not the celebrities, are the ones who work here. Because you give, you give them a hard time and everything, you're, you're like a do-it-all, but that's, you know, they love you. They look like they love you. I love you. them back. Yeah. But make no mistake, movie stars are pain in the fucking asses. Right. They expect everything. Right. Free, I don't care about the free. They yeah. want this, they want that. They... But the mother mm. who's divorced or the husband died, Mm -hmm. who's raising four kids, mm -hmm. who works three jobs, nurse, mm -hmm. cashier at night, cleaning. Mm -hmm. Those are the people I want to take care of. Right. They deserve it. You didn't tell me how many people were, were, were here in the, in the opening ceremony. How was it? That was 1981. At least 300, 400. Right. Now, at my Christmas party, that. This one, December 16th. Will 16. be at least 16, This is the one you invited 17. me, by the way. 
Correct. Right. With your camera crew. Right. Well, everybody brings camera crew. Mm. There's about 1,700 people who show up throughout the five hours. Right. Sometimes they're all here at the mm. same time. So you can't walk, really. Yeah, but it's a good commotion. Who's now, coming I, to this I don't party? care about this. The movie starts up behind me in this room. Uh-huh. The curtains stay open. Uh-huh. The red carpet is behind you. Uh-huh. And the backdrop is behind you. So it says Giuseppe. So the red carpet, they, be, they do the red carpet, but then they watch everything. For my, how many years have you been doing this party? Uh, 37, 38 years. 37, it's 30 years. Once a year. It's a Christmas party. Right. But I get too many promoters, Giuseppe. Uh -huh. Let's do business. <laughs> uh, every three months we'll do a party where I go, you don't understand. What makes it special is it's because once it's a fucking once. year. Yeah. Yeah, it's a Christmas correct. party. Mm -hmm. I'm not a promoter. No, I don't allow it. No. So I do one party. Uh, it's like my all-star game in Brazil. I have one all-star game. It's like 60,000 people. And I heard about your dad, who's a famous yeah. soccer player. It's once, it's once a year in December. People want to bring your game here to other cities. And I, I can't, man. That's the secret, right? Yeah, well, you got to stay almost loyal to, you yeah, know. Yeah, of course. It's nice to expand a little bit, but... I didn't know that your father was a very famous soccer player. Oh, yeah. In, yeah. Especially in Italy, he's really famous. Well, oh, since you're not in did Italy. Did he win man. every game? No, not every okay, game. Of course answer. not. So people fall. Yeah. Get up. Did your father quit? Oh, of course not. There's your fucking answer. Never quit, no matter what anybody says. You cannot do it. You can't do it. You can't do it. Makes me want to watch me. But you have to know what you're doing. Right. Meaning... If you can't act, a few months ago, I get it often, this married couple came in, mm. uh, my guess is from like Kansas City. Mm -hmm. Well, he had a camera <laughs> and touristy. They came in and they go, is there any, you Giuseppe? I go, yeah, mm -hmm. can you talk to our daughter? She's outside on a bench. She wants to be an actress, but we've seen you on TV as the hairdresser. Maybe you can give her advice. I go, of course I can talk to her. They wanted you to motivate her? Mo motivate her? Meet Maybe. her. Yeah. I don't know. Uh -huh. I met her. Mm. She has, she'll never make it as a fucking actress. <laughs> the personality oh, of a coffee cup. Right. Nothing. Right. She shook my hand. Head down. I go, hi, how old are you? She goes, 18. I go, so you want to be an actor? Yes. I go, oh, good for yeah. you. Yeah. I go, mom, dad, come with me. I didn't talk to them in front of her. Right. Well, they came to see me, not for the haircut, just to talk to her. Mm. I said, mom, dad, take your daughter and bring her back to Kansas. She's going to get destroyed in California. They go, yeah. what? The father started crying, not the mother. Mm. Go, That's what I wanted to hear. I go, take your 18-year-old daughter mm. and bring her back to Kansas. This town will destroy her. But you got to have a big it's personality. It's poison yeah. here. You don't move out to work at fucking Starbucks. Yeah. You come out here to be an actor, actress, famous. What a, yeah. That's why people, why would you move to California? Yeah. Let me work at Coffee Bean. Right. And they can't be too quiet and everything here. I mean, there's no way. It's poison. Me and the camera, the camera crew were talking here before. How come you don't have your own show, man? I've you turned on. You shouldn't have your own show. You're, you're like a, you're a total, total showman here. I'll be the truth. I've done a lot of TV shows mm -hmm. my way. Right. So we had a TV show. I signed a deal. They got me wardrobe, which I picked. How long I ago picked. was that? Recent. Okay. Three, four years ago. All right. The show is about... Women that are getting a second chance in life, like they're divorced, mm -hmm. but they don't look good. So I'm going to give them a second. I do the hair and makeup. Right. I send them to a dentist, fix huh. the teeth, get them new clothes. Get their self-esteem back. Very yeah. good. Right. Second chance. Mm. Because you're mid-aged, 30 something. you're divorced, but you'll never think you'll go out again. Mm. So they don't look good. So the TV show has five cameras in my salon. And it's a very well-known network. Okay. It could be Bravo E-Network. It could be well-known. Okay. Cameras, lights everywhere. Mm. I go, where is the woman that I'm doing? Mm. They go, she'll be right here. Mm. She walks in. Very attractive. Her hair is like down here. Right. I'm, supposed, I'm only doing the haircut. Mm. 
-hmm. makeup and color. Mm -hmm. Then she goes to Cafe Roma mm -hmm. for her date, the blind date, the TV show set. Right. Meaning I got nothing to do with the date. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm doing the hair make, preparing her right. for her second chance in life dating somebody. Okay. Remember, I'm only in charge of the hair and makeup. Yeah. I don't give a shit about the other ninth hour. Right. So the director, I mm -hmm. said, well, who's the director? They go, right here. Nothing against girls, mm -hmm. a young girl. Right. I go, how old are you? She goes, does it matter? I go, nope. She goes, you know what to do? I go, of course. Camera set up. She goes, in action. Mm. So I'm cutting her hair. She goes, cut. What the I go, sweetheart, what's up? She goes, I want you to cut her hair. I go, that's what I'm fucking doing. Mm. She goes, well, you... I go, sweetheart, stop. She goes, don't call me sweetheart. This was right at the first scene? <laughs> first 13 seconds. <laughs> Action. I cut. Cut. In four seconds, I go... What the... I grab my mic, I go, what the fuck is your problem? Uh-huh. To the girl. Right. I go, why are you yelling cut? Mm. She goes, I want you to make her cry. I go, what? I want you to cut her hair short so we get a reaction so she can cry. I go, stop. Unplug. I go, all the camera people, get the fuck out of the salon. You stay in the salon. The girl, uh, the right. model, uh -huh. the wife, uh, uh -huh. the divorce, yeah. stay in my chair. You, 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 get the fuck out. They go, what? I go, get out. They go, Giuseppe. I go, you think it's good TV for you. But it ain't good for it me. Good for so her. if the husband and wife are watching the TV show mm -hmm. and I'm making the girl cry, mm -hmm. you think the husband can say, honey, you should go to him. Look, he's making her cry. It's good. Yeah. Bad business. So I threw them out. Right. I did the girl's hair for free. Mm. The cut. Left it long. I don't know the rest. I don't know if they filmed it. No. So you realize I'm not made for this. Yeah. <laughs> I can't no. do this shit. I'm a control freak. You want to film? We'll do it my way. I know, you were like a producer here, Fred. Yeah, but I've been around a long time. <laughs> right. So I learned from my mistakes. The day I let somebody tell me, do this, do that, unless I was an actor, mm -hmm. Sylvester Long, kill this guy. Yeah. All right, man, I got to go. <laughs> that doesn't work. It's a movie. That is not a movie. I saw somewhere you were, you loved uh, bikes, motorcycles, motorcycles, stuff like that. Is it, still, is it still in it? Do you still love it or no? When I was married, mm. I was married for a long time, right. 17 and a half years, mm -hmm. to an Icelandic girl. Right. We have a beautiful daughter. Mm -hmm. uh, she insisted I didn't drive motorcycles when we got married, which oh. is fine. So I got rid of it. Eh. First of all, the helmet law passed, so it wasn't cool. Any Everybody was driving motorcycles. It used to be special, Mickey mm -hmm. Rourke, me, Billy Idol. Wow. Uh, a few rock of Bruce Springsteen. People are like motorcycles. Right. Remember, this is the 80s, though. Right. Oof, some people weren't even so born different. yet. Yeah. Not the 90s, the 80s. Yeah, I know. Holy no. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't regret anything. I never been in jail. I didn't deal drugs. Mm -hmm. I don't do the drugs. When people look at uh, Mickey, uh, <laughs> Rock, my son, or Charlie Sheen, they go, oh, fucking drug addict. Yeah. That's what they assume. That's a different era. That was a different era. Uh, it's we're doing just, this. People assume different things all when you, over the when world. When you look back, I saw in some of the, those screens here in your salon, and you see you with the long hair and everything. Mm -hmm. When you look at all those images, like with 30, 38 years, right, you said? Correct. In the salon? Correct. What goes through your mind when you're watching this? Like, wow, what, what did I do? How, you know, mm, this beautiful I think work. I, I do the same thing I do every night and every morning. Grazie Dio. Grazie Dio. <laughs> in Italian, it means thank you, God. I'm, I'm fortunate. But I worked hard for it. Right. No, nothing was handed to me. But it's nice to earn it. And it's nice to be... See, people are born different ways. Leader or follower. I don't know what the middle is. I don't give a shit what the middle is. Mm -hmm. uh, what, you're going to be a leader? It's either you're going to be a fucking leader right. or you're going to be a follower. Yeah. I don't know what's in between. Right. But what is it? Yeah. Either you're going to follow people Take the orders or you're going to be the boss that gives you. I was born to be a leader. Yeah. I didn't know that. Mm. Remember, I opened up at 24 and a half years old in Beverly Hills. Took I a made no of years. money. Yeah. No. I gave three years worth of free haircuts mm. to anybody. 
just so I would be looking busy. Uh -huh. And they made a deal with the restaurant. I said, I'll give you free haircuts for the bus boys and waiters if I get a free panini every night. Right. Panini is a sandwich. Mm. Well, so I can eat, I had no money. Wow. Yeah, but every time you walk by, holy shit, this guy's always busy. Uh, no free haircuts. It's better to be really busy than not doing anything. <laughs> you never want to tell yeah. people, hey, Junior, how you doing? I got no money. My wife left me. I'm fucking broke. I'm miserable. That's mm -hmm. very depressing. That's depressing. Yeah. Junior, how you doing? <laughs> fucking great. Are you kidding? Yeah. I've never been happier. I got a chandelier. I got a... Oh, fantastic. It's a lot. Positive energy, always. Very good. Yes, positive energy. And who you know, to, I... Who wants to be with the fucking loser downer? It's so... Even if it's a lie. Yeah. It's not so much you're lying as much as it is you don't want to tell people you're not doing good in life. Yeah. No matter Definitely. what you do in life. How's it going? Yeah. Great. Good. Great. I got no money. How's it? Phew. Never felt better. I don't even know what to do with the fucking money I got. Yeah, but people like that. Yeah. People don't like, how you doing? Junior. Uh -huh. You know, my TV show's over. Mm -hmm. My wife left me. <laughs> My kids are getting married at 12 years old. Our fucking life sucks. I can't eat right. My wife can't cook. All depressing we shit. We got a great sentence from an old guy a couple of days ago here in Beverly Hills. Let's hear and, it. And, and, I, and it was, I was asking him about it. He said, I never felt better. Hey, we live in a, in a planet with 7 billion people. Who else is here in this elevator in Beverly Hills? And then I said, that's four. I said, so? That's a good answer. <laughs> That's a good answer. It's always positive. Yeah, it's positive. You, sometimes you have to do a little lie to make people look good. Then yeah. I say, when I lie, go. As long as you're helping. As long as, 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 yeah. as you don't hurt people. As long as you're helping them, I mean, it's fine. That's all you do. Yeah, but I believe, listen, man, I believe in good energy. And that's how I met Regan. And that's why Regan introduced us, because when you have good energy. I did that's see how your I met steak me. on Sunday. It was the biggest Flintstone the biggest steak I've thing, ever yeah. seen. That's how you get when you walk with Regan. <laughs> I told him this morning, he came before you, I go, forget about the interview. How was that fucking steak? I see nobody go, Giuseppe, the steak wasn't that good. But I go, Iggy, the fucking bone was hanging out. <laughs> and yesterday he took me to a nice steakhouse, man. We ate a lot of steak. He's again. good people. He's good people. That's another true story from yeah. all over the world. It could yeah. be Brazil, it could be Yugoslavia, yeah. it could be Germany. Who gives a shit? Where you, it's just to make it. But you got to really believe in your dream. Right. Because some people don't. Yeah. Oh, I'll never do this. I'll never do it. I'll never. Bad. Remember to find your gift. Yeah. No matter what gift it is. Mm -hmm. It could be artist. Yeah. I fixing shoes. My father was a shoemaker. Yeah. My mother was a seamstress. But they were very good at what they did. They were happy. And my father put a roof on. Of course. That we had food on the table, not money, mm -hmm. but we ate together as an Italian Catholic family. Yes. So it's never about money. Yeah. It's about pursuing your dream. Right. The more people that say, you'll never do it. Junior, never <laughs> happened. That's the more I go, watch. Yeah. Uh, but that's my incentive. Right, of course. But you're a great story, man. You're a great guy. I'm so, no, I'm so if happy. If I can do it, anybody can do it. Yeah. It's just finding your gift right. in life. Some people don't. Mm -hmm. I got people that, I went to acting school for two years, Giuseppe. Oh, that sucked. I'm going to culinary school cooking. Mm -hmm. Oh, that sucked. I'm going to mechanic school. I'm going to fix cars. Uh -huh. That's three different careers. Yeah. All three failed. You need to know what your gift is. Right. Don't matter what it is. I don't know. God gives it to you. Concentrate on that. And it'll work. Always the hard work. There's no shortcuts, by the way. Right. Unless you win the fucking lotto. Right. Uh, good luck. <laughs> no, I, I don't know. Yeah. But showing up every day to work and enjoying your job. <whistles> Whistling to go to work. I'm happy. Yeah. <whistles> I had a client. Still do. Mm. For three fucking years. Giuseppe. <gasps> I'm so happy I'm here. I hate my life. I hate my job. I hate my life. I hate my job. I hate my life. I go, relax. Antonio, un bicchiere di vino. 
glass of wine. I feel so much better. I let it go for two years. Again. Giuseppe, I'm so glad I'm here. I hate my life. I hate my fucking life. I hate my job. I, I'm torn. Wait, no champagne. What did you do that you hate? I had to ask her. Uh. After fucking two years. Giuseppe, I hate my life. I hate my job. I hate my life. How many times are I going to hear it? Anyways, don't you get tired of saying this? Like for two years? What do you do that you doesn't hate? help? It doesn't help. No, but I asked. Definitely not. What do you do? I go. I'm thinking she can't yeah. be a stripper. She's 30 not, years old. When you ain't working. You know, that's, she just that's doesn't want to. She's embarrassed to tell me. Right. I go, what do you do that you hate? Mm -hmm. She goes, I'm a secretary mm -hmm. to five lawyers mm. in Century City. Uh -huh. And she goes, I hate where I park. I park in the same spot. Right. I take the same elevator. I eat the same lunch. Mm -hmm. I, I go, stop. Got it. What do you want to do? She goes, I go, just tell me. I thought she was going to say something stupid. She goes, yeah. I want to breed horses. I want to clean horses and ride them. I go, she goes, I just want to, I like horses. I love mm -hmm. them. I go, listen to me and listen to me carefully. Quit your fucking job in Century City. Yeah. You're going to take a pay cut mm -hmm. because you're never going to make the money you make in Century. Are you married? She goes, yeah. no. I go, you got kids? She goes, no. I go, take less money and go be fucking happy. happy. Yeah, that's good for your health. She comes in four months later. Uh -huh. Haircut. What'd you do? She goes, Giuseppe, you won't believe it. I go, what? She goes, I work with horses. <laughs> now she's happy as hell. <laughs> there you go, Real. that's a nice story. I don't know about the money. <laughs> it's not my concern, but she's happier. Yeah. You need to go where you're happy, no matter what it is. You're right. Because you'll never be happy. You're yeah. going to go in life fucking miserable. Yeah. Remember, life is like this. Yeah. Nobody's going to be perfect. Yeah. Your dad won the soccer games and lost the few. Did yeah. he quit? Of course not. Here's your answer. But the ones that made it are the ones who work the most. You're certainly a, a great story, man. I was so happy to meet you. Me too. Happy that you hosted us so so nicely, you know, showed around. You're a great you're a great story, man. Really. From your mouth to God's ears. Thanks a lot, my friend. Thank you. Appreciate Great it. Time, Thank you. Junior. Thank you. Much success to you always. God bless you. <laughs> Viva Brazil. Viva Brazil. Cheers, man. Salute. Cheers. Salute.